We're gonna blow up so badly. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> that was so bad. I was trying to get out. I was trying to do the Fortnite and switch seats, but I couldn't do that. Oh, they fell in there. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> I fell down on making a Halo Infinite video because this game has caused the most trouble to run, to get working. At one point, I had to delete it, reinstall it. I couldn't get the Game Pass version to work. This is uh, the Steam version, so I only have access to multiplayer. And it's just been pretty rough for this game. As far as optimization and settings and things, I'm playing on all low settings and it still has trouble running. It does say that I'm using up all of the VRAM, so I'm guessing this game is just super demanding. 60 FPS max, 30 FPS minimum, but I think I'm actually gonna just drop this to, to 30 as well because even yesterday, the whole thing, the whole system just turned off on me after playing a match i fully played the match and then the whole thing just turned off every other game that i've played that's a shooter apex runs pretty well 60 fps destiny 2 works just fine modern warfare runs beyond fine it's just this one is for some reason very taxing on the system and i can't manage to keep it up and running for a long period of time i'm gonna go down here and show you that everything literally everything is set to the lowest possible settings that i can have now we are on windows 11 we are using the provided graphic drivers that steam has on their resource page for windows what i've noticed is that some games ask for version 22 and the adrenaline drivers or whatever the ones that are on the steam resource page it's only version 21 and it's specific to the steam deck if you try to get the upgraded 22 version then it says that the system does not support it so hopefully we get an updated version of the steam deck drivers themselves uh, for Windows so that some of these games are supported. I tried to open Blood Hunt and it told me that I needed the newer Adrenaline uh, version 22 drivers and earlier I got a message opening this game where it said that I was on the wrong drivers and that I might encounter issues. So that might have a huge uh, role in why this game is having such a hard time running. As far as load times and everything go, it also has the slowest load times it used to be slower when I first tried opening this game about a month ago or something, uh, but now it actually boots into the game pretty quickly, and then finding a game and loading into the matches would take long. If it takes too long, I will skip to the actual gameplay, but I'm going to go ahead and press play here on quick play, and we're going to see how long this actually takes. And it looks like the match is going to start here. Let's see. Let's hope. Maybe this is going to be one of the better times I've had with this game which would be nice so that I can actually get this video out because if the game crashes then that sucks but also that makes you aware that Halo Infinite does have some trouble running on here we're in some oddball yeah so far this is the fastest I've been able to load into the game and load into a match Maybe having it set to 30 frames instead of 60 is also helping it out. Oh, whoa, 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 wow! There we go. Terrible gameplay, like usual. Maybe I, I just want to get a kill. I'll take it. Did no one grab the oddball? Really? Give me this. I'll take that hammer. Wait, 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 where'd it go? Right here. Hopefully somebody grabbed the ball. I don't think I've ever played on this map. Haven't played this game in a while, so... Forgive me if I'm extra rusty and just bad. But even if I was playing, I'd probably still be bad. Actually, I was pretty decent. It was fun when I was actually playing this game. They just don't, up they don't update this game enough to keep me playing it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that 30 frames definitely makes the game perform a whole lot better. And it doesn't feel bad, since it is on a smaller screen, it doesn't bother me as much to play on the lower frame rate. Oh, whoa, whoa! That kind of bothered me, though. The sticks are easier to aim than they are in Apex, at least. Because Apex has... I have a hard time shooting in that game with these sticks. I feel like the dead zone is wrong or something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my... It's not a one hit. 
Oh, I'm alive. Thought I was dead. Oh, I should hide in that corner where that guy was. This is also one of the only games where I don't mind playing on not tactical. Like, I actually don't mind hitting with the analog stick and sliding with the B button. Oh, I almost fell. Why can't I hit him? There was such a delay there. I don't even know why. It's like the animation of me climbing that to then hitting him just wasn't going through. Forgot to use this. All right, we're in business now, let's go. Enemy team nearing? No, I need better gameplay. Of course. Wow, that was trash. It was around this point last time where the game just decided to close out, the Steam Deck started making crazy noises, and it just shut off. You know, I'll take it back now, this might not be the worst running game. I mean, it still is because everything else just runs so much better. But it's not as bad as every other time I've played it. Whoa, 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 relax. He shot me through a wall? That man shot me through a wall. The whole team's right there. Okay, I'll take the assist. Okay, I'm feeling kind of confident. I'm going to try to run a big team battle and see how this thing handles it. Hoping for the best, expecting this thing to crash and burn. Speaking of burn, let me see how hot. Yeah, it's not even running hot anymore. I think the 60 frames was really taxing this, this game like hardcore because it was being way louder when I was on the 60 FPS and it wasn't even hitting 60 FPS, it was probably hitting like 40, 50 maybe and dipping down to 30, so constant 30 is definitely helping this game. I'm gonna keep repeating that because it makes a huge difference. No way we're loading into the big team this fast. Okay, it's getting louder. It's loading the map, and as soon as it started loading the map, it started cranking up in volume with the fans. Okay, we got a desert map. I don't know if I've played here before. I don't think so. This might be new. Well, at least for me. Parkour! Can't go up there. I think I might have just hit my teammate. What's down here? What is this? What is this? What is happening? Oh my goodness. We're live. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I could have hijacked it. Too slow. Are there any vehicles on our side? Oh no. I can't get a single kill. Hop on, dude. Oh my goodness. Flip them over. We're gonna blow up so badly. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> that was so bad. I was trying to get out. I was trying to do the Fortnite and switch seats, but I couldn't do that. Oh, they fell in there. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> That was cool. It seems to handle big team battle pretty well, actually. Ooh, let me get this. Oh, 
scope me out no who is sniping at me i don't even know where i'm getting shot from okay i just i'm bad i want to get a car again that was fun is that a car that's an enemy car oh man every time bro <laughs> I think just go around lasering everything in its way. What's going on in here? I might blow up my teammates. Uh oh. Tunnel of death. I don't know what's going on in here. Oh my. Okay. This map is kind of cool. How do I boost? Okay. Whoa, that was weird. This guy is just being slippery. Oh, I almost went into the burning flame. Well, that was perfect timing definitely wasn't playing the objective i apologize but that was decent enough to show you guys halo infinite running on the steam deck windows 11 if you're gonna play this game definitely tweak your settings but it was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie after everything actually worked it was a whole lot more enjoyable not the best gameplay as far as uh my halo skills on here but good enough to show you that the game works. Definitely playable. Definitely would give it a shot if you are running on Windows 11, 10, or whatever you're running on. I don't know if this game has SteamOS support. I think I remember it not having it. I could be wrong. You could also play this through cloud gaming, but you know, expect latency and things like that. So that was pretty much it for that. Got some big team in, got some quick plays in. My hair looks really crazy right now, but never mind that. That was Halo Infinite on Steam Deck. Expect more gameplay soon, Windows 11, and whatever game I'm playing at the time. I will continue trying new games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that Halo Infinite gameplay and test, I guess. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video.